It's finally here, and it's time to take a look at the first Tableau release of the decade. It's not that important, but I wanted to use some Final Cut Pro audio effects. Hi, it's George from Ablaze. Tableau 2020.1, just out. If you're familiar with Tableau's version numbering, it is now year-based and has been for about three years. And then each quarter, a guaranteed dot release. So last year, 2019.1 in the first quarter, dot two, dot three, and dot four for each subsequent quarter. Here are my thoughts on Tableau 2020.1. Server-based licensing. I like it. This is helpful if you're an administrator, in particular a Tableau server administrator, also responsible for maintaining Tableau desktop licenses. No more need to put individual key codes on individual desktops. You can now place 2020 key code creator licenses on your Tableau server, and when a user first starts a copy of Tableau desktop, they may log into Tableau server and get their license that way. Nice new feature. I like it. Customizable Discover Pane. Yeah. If you look on the right side of a Tableau desktop, there has always been what's called the Discover Pane, hyperlinks to training or vizs or Tableau Public. You may now replace that default content with your own content using a web page of your choosing. Either at installation or via a registry entry, you can change the right side discover pane to your own personalized content. Meh. No big deal. Phone layouts in Tableau Server. Matching Tableau Desktop, now you have the option from the menu to add phone layouts to all new dashboards by default, in addition to the ability to add phone layouts to existing dashboards. But it's simply now consistent with Tableau Desktop, so that new Tableau Server feature. Mapping is better in server in 2020. Background maps improved. There are the data layers. Getting ever closer with Tableau Server and Tableau Desktop functionality. New background map features in Tableau Server 2020.1. Good to have those on board. An export button. This is a new feature in both desktop and server. Not a super big deal, but kind of nice. You can now drag a button object onto a dashboard like a navigation button, like a show hide floating container button, but this button is exclusively for permitting a viewer to export the dashboard with a button click. They can click and it will download or export the dashboard via a button object. New feature in dashboards, not bad. Now, if you saw my 2019 overview, I made mention about Tableau server improvements in tooltip formatting. I did mention one thing missing, and that was the ability to insert a worksheet into a tooltip. And I said, for now. Well, that was a little hint. Tableau Server 2020, tooltips, there is the ability to insert a worksheet right inside a tooltip. Great feature, and great to see it in Tableau Server. Way to go. This is one we've been waiting for for six or seven years. Tableau Desktop has the ability to do what we often call motion charts, animated charts through a date period. In Tableau Desktop, there was a play button. You could play the entire date range continuously as an animated visualization. Tableau Server, that play button wasn't there. In Tableau Server 2020, there is the play button. We've been waiting for that for a long time, and that is a very nice new feature. Good to finally see it. If you're a Tableau Server administrator, permissions haven't been a bad experience, but in Tableau Server 2020.1, much improved permissions experience. The permissions process, the permissions dialogue, very different and easier to follow and more granular. If you're an administrator, either a site administrator or a server administrator responsible for setting permissions, you're going to like the new 2020 permissions interface. As is the case with every new version, connection changes, connection improvements. Salesforce connection, Snowflake connection, improvements. New connection, Cloudera Impala. Now you can connect to that directly. 
explain data improvements in 2020. If you saw my 2019 overview, you heard my kind of not super thrilled opinion of explain data. Not a big change in 2020, but now a new status bar that kind of gives you an idea of where explained data is coming from, the ability to resize the explained data dialog box, and a little improvement in the back end in terms of query efficiency. Still looking for your opinion in the comments about explained data if you use it, if your viewers or and uh, users understand it and like it. The buffer function. We've seen mapping improvements version by version. A new function in Tableau 2020 lets us visualize distance away from a geographic location. So now we can look at 20 miles away, 40 miles away from specific locations to see what might be encompassed by a distance out from a geographic point. Nice feature. One more addition to maps that's welcome in Tableau 2020. Here's one that has been a long time coming. This has been way up there in the Ideas Community Forum for years and years and years. Dynamic parameters. They're finally here in Tableau 2020. So, to review, a parameter allows a viewer to type in or supply some kind of a value other than an interactive filter. So I might type in a sales rep's name and adjust their commission based on a calculated field using that parameter. Now the parameter has options for how data can be controlled or how values can be controlled. In this case, I have an allowable values of all, which in essence just allows anyone to type in whatever they want. If they type in an inappropriate value, nulls may appear on the visualization, something may not work. So there have been options to supply a list of specific values. When you choose that option, you may type list values in manually. Or in the past, in 2019 and earlier, there was what was called a fixed option. It wasn't labeled as such, but it was only an option to add a value from and pick a data field. The problem with that was, if data then changed, the parameter list would not reflect those changes until you edited the visualization, refreshed the parameter, and then saved the visualization again. It required a manual intervention. Welcome to Tableau 2020 and the dynamic parameter. You can now provide your list when the workbook opens from a specified field. Now, when the workbook opens, Tableau queries the database and provides a fresh list of parameter values. Changes, deletions, additions, spelling changes are now reflected. Once I make that change, I need to take the parameter off the canvas and simply show it again. And now at this point, I have a drop-down list of allowable parameters that come from the data source every time the visualization is open. This has been a long time coming, a very nice new feature. Big thumbs up for Tableau 2020. Next, and perhaps the most anticipated feature of Tableau 2020, got a lot of attention during the pre-release and what we call the technology preview, is Viz Animations. Here is a bar chart with the Viz Animation feature turned on by default, and I'm gonna simply come over and change my filter. Watch the bars. So as things change, they move nicely and smoothly as things change, such as filtering, new dimensions or measures, even changing the zoom level. If I go from standard to full, they move and smoothly animate rather than just flashing. If you change from a vertical to a horizontal by switching the axes, doesn't make any difference from an animation perspective, but let's take a look. A lot of work went into this. Is it worth it? That's up to you to tell me. I want to get your feedback in the comments section. What do you think of the animations? Let's spend a little more time on them. You can go to the format menu and choose animations. Now, by default, I believe they're turned on. You may turn them on or off as default workbook settings, meaning new worksheets have them turned on or don't. You may also, for each individual sheet, turn them on or off. There are a few settings you can make. The duration of the animations, fast, medium, slow, very slow, 
or put in a custom value. And we have a simultaneous style. Let's change that simultaneous style to a sequential style. This is the new feature that is touted to help you better follow a dimension from one part of a sheet to another as you actually do real-time analysis. Not all mark types and all chart types will uh, work with animation, but most will. Here is another chart, a packed bubble. It's easy to see the animation here as we change our filter, change our filter, and you see things move around. If you are using Tableau Server, same process. Tableau Server, you have the option on the format menu for animations. It replaces the data pane with the animation pane, and animation occurs on server as well. New feature, very anticipated, wants your feedback. What do you think? So there you have it, Tableau 2020.1. Not lots of new features, but some things we've been waiting for for a long time and some very welcome things. Come on back for more videos, in particular some hands-on with Tableau 2020 on the way. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, spread the word, subscribe, and click the little bell icon to get notified of new videos. See you again soon and thanks for watching.